This is a 32-year-old male status post-motor vehicle accident. On the left side, we have a portable AP supine radiograph of the chest, and on the right side, we have an axial CT image through the level of the chest. Notice on the chest radiograph that there is a left-sided sternoclavicular joint dislocation. The medial aspect of the clavicle does not align normally with the manubrium of the sternum here. On the right side, the articulation is completely normal. If we take a look at the CT image of the chest at the level of bone windows, we see already that there is a displaced medial clavicular fracture and that there is posterior superior displacement of the medial clavicle with respect to the sternum. So this is a posterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation, which is much more rare than the more common anterior superior sternoclavicular joint dislocation. Both entities are rare, but the anterior variant is much more common than the posterior variant of sternoclavicular joint dislocation. A posterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation can be a life-threatening emergency due to the fact that the posterior displacement or dislocation of the medial clavicle can impinge on mediastinal structures and result in aortic trauma, great vessel trauma, tracheal or esophageal trauma as well. In this case, there was no such injury to the mediastinum. Notice also that there is a scapular fracture on the left side as well in this case. So this was a case of posterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation.